Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. I am joined here today with Vince, a member of our Mind Island Design team, and he does not know anything about uh, anything, basically. That's uh, correct. Yes. Hello. So what what do you know about Photoshop or Illustrator? Like, what do you know the differences, if you know any? I mean, you I, know, but... I, I know that you can edit photos to make them look good, you know, if you want to do an Instagram photo or something. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, use a filter, bro, yeah, like, seriously. Like, like, seriously. No, like, but... I remember, like, little things in front of, like, high school, you know what I mean? Right. But well, not much. I've been designing for a long time, and I actually started using GIMP, which is, like, a free editing right, software. I remember GIMP, I remember GIMP. And now I would say I actually use Illustrator more than I use Photoshop, which I never thought I would say in my entire life. But I knew that if I wanted to be an actual designer, you, you need to learn how to use Illustrator. And if that is what you're here to do today or just wanting to know the differences, like if you're going to subscribe to one program or the other, um, we'll go through all that stuff today. So there's two words and those two words are raster and vector. And Photoshop is more raster based while uh, Illustrator is more vector based. What, is, what does raster mean? So uh, Photoshop is a raster based program and that basically is just dealing in pixels. So if I zoom in, um, you'll see the, the, the yeah, the, the further we zoom in, how it's actually laid out in pixels. Okay. And uh, in Illustrator, it's the exact same thing, but like if I zoom in, it'll be pixelated, but uh, it's a vectorized program <clears throat> or vector based program, I should say. So you can vectorize this and make it sharper if you wanted to. There's some things that you can do in Photoshop and Illustrator. Like if I wanted to cut out something like this triangle out of this image, I would use a, a clipping mask while in Photoshop, you can actually just use your eraser tool. Oh, so there's not a whole lot of things you can, <clears throat> it's a little bit easier on Photoshop. To yeah, it's, it's a whole lot easier just for straight up editing photos. Like, right. You know, or if you go more in detail, like if you're doing some concept art, I would definitely recommend Photoshop over Illustrator. Or um, would you, how about would you do a start a picture on Photoshop and get it all nice and dolled up, and then move it to Illustrator? I typically that's how I I work because if I'm including photos in a project, I will definitely go into Photoshop and and use you know its capabilities because there's a whole lot more filters you can actually use to manipulate a photo. Like right, right. okay. And while Illustrator has some of these, it's like. It's honestly, it's pretty bad. <laughs> like if I go into one of these effects, for example. Oh, Lord. Like it's, some, oh. it's like some Microsoft Paint Jeez. type stuff. And these might be useful for like text or right. just simple textures, but yeah, not for photos. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. And, and Photoshop, you can actually create some vector images. Like if I go to um, a path. <clears throat> So you, like you, so you said you like Photoshop for what? Manipulating. Fo Photoshop is more for l manipulating photos, and Illustrator is more for creating images or designs or okay. like I I would create a logo in Illustrator, no doubt. Like that's mm -hmm. the way to go. And then sharpen it up <clears> in Photoshop. <throat> no, I wouldn't even bring it in Photoshop. Okay. But um, for example, you can create a vector shape in Photoshop just by using any of these paths. Okay. Because. Illustrator makes images in paths as opposed to pixels, which is how Photoshop, um, you know, makes images. Right. Um, let me just fill this up with the color. Green. Green. <laughs> so yeah, this is a vector image. I wonder if I actually, if I zoom in, it's a, it's still pixelized just because that's how Photoshop, you know, yeah. reads images. But if you were to do that in, in the Illustrator, it'd be vectorized. If I save this file and bring it into Illustrator, that this would be a vector image. Okay. But then, uh, if I go into a new layer here and just paint green with like the brush, okay, this is raster. Oh, and that's the pixels. Yeah, these are the pixels. This is a path. Okay. And if I grab like my pen tool and add an anchor point. And then I use my direct selection tool. You can actually manipulate this path, right? Oh, and curve it. And, and curve it and whatnot. And oh. So this is actually vector. This is just pixels. You can edit this. It's just mm -hmm. brush, okay. right? <clears throat> so yeah, if I go into Illustrator and create a shape, I'll just make another circle. And we know that this is vector. And I'll just make the stroke transparent. And yeah, same thing if we go to our pen tool. 
and just create uh, an anchor point. I used the wrong tool, <laughs> anchor point. There we go. And yeah, same thing. Same thing. Okay. And the reason that Illustrator is so much better, you yeah. know, dealing with uh, vectorized images is... Um, Do like the whole Pac-Man thing. <laughs> make it yellow, get sued. Yeah. Is you can manipulate these way more. Like I can, if I overlap a, you know, a shape, like if this is going to be some weird logo, right. let's make this... Um, what are those paint can or no, those paint oh. things that, that you hold what are those called oh i don't remember what those are called but let's, let's make that one of those call it just a paint holder let's make a, a paint holder <laughs> <laughs> the thumb the perfect the thumb. right you gotta add the little hole for the oh, thumb yeah. yeah that's actually a, a great example so if i just grab my um uh, we can do this a few ways but you know what i'll just use the pen tool pen tool the pen tool okay. so what you're, the pen tool is doing is just making paths right and i can curve them it's not going to be perfect, but. You know where the circle has to be, right? Is that it? No. Oh, it's right there, isn't no, it? No, oh. It's, it's down in the. What? In the, where that thing is. Like in the boomerang mode. In here? <laughs> yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? doesn't really matter because I can move this shape. Oh, you can? Yeah, I see. Sweet. So like that? Okay. Is that all good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I mean, you can go into wireframe mode because. Okay. Illustrator deals in paths, right? Or not paths. Well, yes, paths, but like just the shapes, the objects. Okay. And you can't do that in Photoshop because it's obviously it's just pixels. Oh, no, so you have just the outline of it. So if you have something that's really detailed, like a vehicle wrap, like we made a video of that um, previously, you can see more detailed images. But if I can change this color from green so we can actually see it, just to a lighter green even. But oh. So yeah, we can edit this in a way that you can't in Photoshop. So if I go to our shape builder tool, we can actually remove this shape from this shape. So if I if we go into transparent mode, you can see it actually it goes through. Like we it use that. It look like a hole. Like yeah, it actually goes, so cool. it cuts through it, yeah. That's cool. And you can't do that with paths in Photoshop. And if you can, it's definitely not, you know, very easy. It's not an easy it's, it's not made for, you know, that type of work okay. as Photoshop's more like for photography. So vectorize, uh, not vectorize, <clears throat> Illustrator is more easy to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I would use I would use Illustrator more for even creating magazines. I mean, I should be using InDesign, but honestly, I can do whatever I need to do in Illustrator. Right, right. So, for example, like I can simply make a new artboard. Oh, okay. There are as many as I want. Like, so if I'm making a PDF file, right, I can exactly. each, yeah, yeah, I can, can have as many that. artboards yeah. as possible. Yeah. Nice. And in Photoshop, you can do that, but. Yeah, and you can save it as a PDF the same way, but I just find you can lay lay it out a whole lot better in Illustrator. Okay. But that's just also personal preference. Right. But if you are someone who's wondering, you know, which one you want to to buy, or yeah, I guess you're not buying you it, I would probably go with Photoshop just because it's so versatile. But if you're um, a designer, or if you're going to be working at like a print shop or something, like you'd like want, you know, Ill yeah, if you'd want Illustrator because you'd be creating cut paths and it's right. a whole lot easier to make paths in Illustrator. Right. But for someone like me, just kind of starting Photoshop would be a good starting point to kind of just put my, you know. Yeah, like if you're going to be making like social media posts for your business, you exactly. can do a whole lot more with filters and effects. Like, um, yeah, and if you have different layers and you can manipulate them and color correct them in a whole lot Sweet. more in Photoshop than you can in Illustrator. Okay. But yeah, no, that's basically it. Yeah. That was very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You'll see us back here if we're being dumb again. But uh, thanks, Bob. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for watching.